A lot has been said about the comparisons between J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar. I think Kendrick is definitely still the best current rapper right now and for a multitude of different reasons. For me, I think Cole right now is the best MC. Kendrick Lamar and J. Cole ruined their generation's minds. Now, my interest in this topic was reignited from a Reddit thread debating their individual discographies, and so it got me thinking about their differences. While the common opinion is often that Kendrick is the best rapper out right now, it begs the question of why he would be compared to J. Cole at all. I think this is because in terms of replayability and consumption, Cole beats Kendrick overall as Cole is a slightly easier artist to relate and listen to. When comparing their discographies, I would say that Kendrick has a better overall catalog in terms of quality and messaging within his work. And this is coming from someone who prefers Cole over Kendrick. To Pimp a Butterfly is a masterpiece of music, and while I believe Cole's catalog is still great, he definitely doesn't possess an album with the same standard of quality that To Pimp a Butterfly has. Kendrick's material across all his albums have heavy and sometimes harsh undertones and messages. As well, much of Kendrick's work is based on his own personal experiences and feelings, giving the listener insight into the mental space in which he creates his art. And while the contents of his songs can often evoke very strong emotions from the listener, which indicates a good response, in certain instances it can make it hard for a fan to want to re-listen to particular songs or even particular albums due to these connections, potentially not revisiting his work without a significant amount of time passing. It's part of the reason why Damn, while not Kendrick's best project, is his most commercially successful one thus far, as the messaging is somewhat more generalized and some of the songs conform to the mainstream more often. With J. Cole, the concepts in his work feel a lot more generalized, bar a lot of the songs on For Your Eyes Only. Songs like Apparently, Love Yours, She Knows, No Role Models, and many other songs all have content that is extremely relatable, whilst in terms of production they are also extremely consumable songs for casual fans and mainstream audiences. While I maintain that Kendrick has a better overall catalog, I'd argue that Kendrick doesn't have a song like No Role Models, which considering it's a song that released back in 2014, still pops up on the global and US Spotify top 50. 50 streaming charts from time to time. Whether it be about relationship issues, appreciating family, recognizing your own worth, reflecting on your flaws, etc., people cling to these types of songs that Cole makes because they are all based in relatable circumstances in which they may have felt similarly, and by extension they feel more connected to J. Cole himself. My best analogy to use here would be that Kendrick is somewhat of an arisen figure in hip-hop. You only know as much as he allows you to know about him through his music, and he builds a lot of mystique around himself. His music is about creating and expressing his own predestined message, about how he feels and situations he's going through. For the listener, it feels like you are not engaging with Kendrick directly, but watching him create his art from a distance. He's a genius, and he creates beautiful masterworks, but it can be extremely difficult to understand and relate to the works of a genius. It still creates this connection between the listener and the creator, as you feel enthralled by the small snippets of insight that you are provided. J. Cole to me represents a lot more of the general public and the everyday person. He relates to and makes music for people that have gone through similar struggles as he has. This shared pain and emotion is what drives people to feel connected to him and likely invigorates people to prop him up in these greatest rapper debates. Fans love to build this one of us mentality and therefore want to see J. Cole succeed no matter what because he's representative of their community. Funnily enough, this is somewhat reflected in their level of public appearances as well. From Kendrick, I feel like I never hear about him making any appearances anywhere unless it's intentional, indicating that he likes to maintain his privacy. With J. Cole, I see a lot of photos of him out in the street either walking or on bikes, with little to no security, being directly amongst the people, which, considering how big of an artist he is, is extremely refreshing to see. I'm also not trying to say that these factors are mutually exclusive though. Kendrick does have many songs that are extremely relatable, such as with swimming pools and the concept of wanting to fit in and the peer pressure surrounding substances. And for J. Cole, his latest album, The Off Season, feels much more like a personal project. Songs like The Climb Back, Let Go My Hand, Hunger on Hillside, etc. reflect on Cole's feelings about hip-hop culture, his family life, and does not try to bend into perspectives to be more relatable. It's purely about him. I just personally feel that both of them are more synonymous with these differing styles, and both are better at producing one style of rap than their counterpart. Not to say that they should be put in a box though, where they can't try to produce something different. 
Now, I'm sure you're aware about the constant speculation surrounding the idea of Kendrick and Cole creating an entire collaboration project. While I believe the window of possibility of this actually happening becomes smaller every single day, I still maintain the hope. I'd even just take a single song at this point. They are the two greatest hip hop artists of our most recent generation, and I feel like if they did decide to combine their abilities, they'd not only create something to appease their respective fan bases, but they could also produce a truly revolutionary project.